Okay, let's see if I can actually get this to work right here. Oh, um, come on. I, I know I know it's possible. I know it's still possible. You can't tell me it's not still possible. I've been seeing people do this. Come on now. Wait, wait. There it goes. We're flying a little bit, and we're off. We're off. Oh, darn it, dude. It doesn't work that much, but it kind of still works. Guys, that glitch used to work to an extent where you could fly around the whole map and go wherever you want, including space. But yeah, so subscribe. And if you post up, you're going to get the ball, make it a go. Then we're doing a new video. If you happen to hit the like button within the next five seconds, your account, your Roblox account is going to be rewarded with 10,000 Robux. I didn't make the rules. Okay. That might not be true, but still, hit the like button either way, guys. Today, we're deep diving into the depths of Brookhaven and all the chaos that it entails. Oh my god, it's a Dragon Ball Z character. I mean, possibly. Is that a Dragon Ball Z character? I No, that's a... No, that's not a tough character, dude. Look at this, man. Just, just people gonna be like, you don't know your anime, man. But dude, I can't tell. He's a weird-looking character, man. But anyway, so... With that being said, we got some amazing... Uh, my, my, my amazing crew here. We got, uh, we got Jessica, and then we got uh, Adidas. That's really their names, I promise. But no, I actually don't know these guys. I gotta get back on topic of this video, dude. Um, I'm a little kid because I was trying to play around with glitches that you could do as a little kid. I mean, we did talk about recently, not long ago, how they removed the the, the children bicycles with the training wheels and stuff because they just wanted to adjust it to your size. And now, now look, the bike is the same size as me. It's crazy. I don't have to go buy me a different size bike every time now. So yeah, I don't know. That was something that did get introduced. We touched on a little bit. Um, but today, specifically, what I wanted to do and deep dive into, of course, was other than the uh, the upcoming update that's coming soon um, that a lot of people are talking about and a lot of people have all kinds of, you know, like, dude, it's going to be this. It's going to be this. But I know what it might actually really be. But um, there's certain things, you know, that it could be and could not be. And uh, that's what we're going to be deep diving into and talking about today. Um, first off, let's kind of go over the possibility of a farming update. Now, very much so, this could be possible, but here's why I say the next update's probably not going to be a farming update. Guys, we have to set the bar straight here, and we have to go over some of these speculations, such as the construction update and all this stuff, and kind of give it a real deep dive and see if it even really makes sense to introduce it to Brookhaven at this current moment. Right? So, um, regarding a farming update, I strongly believe we're not going to see a farming update in the next month or so, even. And the reason for that is, I think it's going to be more towards the fall, autumn season, with October around the corner, ha Halloween. Um, so Halloween's a big deal in Brookhaven, right? We always get a massive Halloween update or even before or after a massive Halloween update. Seeing a farming update would definitely make sense. If autumn is upon us and all the leaves are turned into amazing bright colors, um, we will probably definitely see around that time is when the farming update is probably going to be introduced. Now, <clears throat> I definitely believe a farming update is coming. You know, I've talked about it a lot. But I think my release date for a farming update for Brookhaven right now, I'm just going to clear that up, is probably going to be in the autumn. Uh, it's going to be around Thanksgiving even, somewhere around that time. You're going to see a complete farming overhaul. However, nothing is confirmed for that. That's just my speculation on that. Wolfpack might have different plans, of course, but that just seems like the most reasonable time to introduce or add a change regarding the farming and tractors and all that cool stuff that could come alongside that. Now, let's talk about the next thing everybody is clearly clearly going nuts over in the community and that is the construction update we've talked about it quite a bit but yeah the construction update sounds fantastic an update that allows you to customize or construct different buildings or an estate that allows you to select different levels of construction for your role plays uh, so you can be a construction worker and of course new vehicles and tools and everything that assign directly to that of the role of a construction worker now we kind of have a hard hat and you know, we got the yellow hard hat and stuff already which is cool we can we got the suit we can look like a construction worker, we got the hammer, we can build, and we even do some building when it comes to building the agency portal. You get to construct, okay? So technically, guys, the construction update, constructing something of in an update is already here, dude. Um, <laughs> because you get to construct the, the, the uh, agency portal. As you guys know, you have to build it before it to get built. And then whenever it gets built, hey, look, it says, have a great day. How kind is that? Someone put a kind message. They rented that billboard out for $200,000 just to put a kind message like that. It's very nice of them. Have a great day. But yeah, so that way we've already kind of been constructing in Brookhaven is what I'm getting to say. Now, seeing that expanded upon construction vehicle, excavators, stuff of this sort would be fantastic. And I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think my buddy Darza have probably been talking about it a while too for, you know, just how much sense it actually makes. However, it is a bigger style update. It's an update that's going to take some time, it feels like. And if that update is being worked on or has been being worked on, 
it, we might not see it in the next week or two, in my personal opinion, because that's going to be a bigger style update, and depending on how big Wolfpack wants to make a construction update, it's definitely going to differ on a lot of things and the time frame of a lot of things as well throughout the year and the update release catalog. So uh, that's my opinion on that. We're not going to see a construction update or a farming update till a little bit later on. However, what have we been receiving with these updates? We've been receiving little small hints and pieces of new houses, new secrets, new additions to the Brookhaven storyline. This year has been expanding Brookhaven in a way like we've never seen before from the addition of the museum, the recent hiding like survivor survival shelter that Madison actually was a part of and took place in and retreated to like all these things are pieces of the puzzle slowly being added so we can debunk it all to get one full final summary of the storyline that might be fully revealed to us this year as well but that's beside the point we're not talking about this update that update we're talking about what is the next update coming well, in my personal opinion, I think there's plenty of possibilities for new updates that could be coming. Customization of the yacht, being able to change the yacht into different lake vehicles, like a police boat, and other things. We've talked about this. It sounds really cool, right? But in my personal opinion, the next update might fill out the estate. Uh, it might fill out and give us a new estate to finally fill out the estate game pass and give the players something that seems a bit more valuable in terms of purchasing that estate game pass. Because if we see here, and then we go all the way over to an estate, um, let's see here, North Estate, we click on the estate, there's still standby for more. So I feel very strongly that coming soon, we're gonna be seeing that last additional estate to fill out the estate game pass and make players wanna buy the estate game pass even more. And the estate game pass is a very, beautiful game pass in my opinion it allows you to have a huge expanded just an unbelievable uh part of the map in your retreat your resort your house your hotel even and um with the prison the hotel i'm hoping for another rp set personally because we've already seen the mansions and the hillside retreats i want to see another rp set and i want it to be one that will blow us away and i think that's definitely coming because this last game pass or the the last estate for the game pass needs to be good and it needs to give people a reason that haven't bought the game pass to want to buy the game pass and want to play or role play on it um, with that selected rp set so and i also think it makes sense to get another rp set and here's why we have three normal houses but only two rp sets so why not throw one to even it out and give us that third rp set which could be a carnival a theme park of sort or something much more better a construction site something of relation right i think it'd be cute i think it could be really cool and the customization for that would be phenomenal and we also have to consider these estates do take time so it, it has been about a week in between an update guys we didn't get an update yesterday i know a lot of people was like dude no update today unbelievable Un absolutely unbelievable but yeah yeah we didn't get an update yesterday but still that means that there's even more time to perfect this next update and work on it and we might see one definitely next week which is pretty darn cool in my opinion so yeah with that aside though um that's my take on that i think the next update is coming next friday um, but we don't know for sure if it's going to be a bigger update. It might get pushed in another week, but uh, I still definitely think it's going to be next Friday. Um, probably not going to be construction. Probably not going to be farming, but uh, nothing's impossible. Okay, I could say this, guys, and I could be making this video right now. And then next week, guess what? <laughs> Brooke, uh, Wolfpack might be like, I'm doing farming and construction all in one update, buddy. And I won't be like, <laughs> everybody's going to, the computer is going to break. That's going to be the biggest, craziest update ever. But um since like the, what the the agency crazy mystery update that we had that was amazing though but yeah with that aside though that's my take on it all hopefully you guys enjoy um we upload here every single day of course it is a wonderful saturday maybe wherever you are in the world and i'm glad to be able to supply this video to your sub box um yeah, it, it, it is a great thing, dude. It's a great thing. I absolutely love the Brookhaven community still to this day, and I find it so remarkable. Uh, some of the waypoints that Brookhaven hits as a game on the Roblox platform, um, some of the awards that it's received over the years, and just to see its continuous growth, I think has been a beautiful thing. Not only, of course, for the creator Wolfpack and Aiden, uh, but for us as a community to see and grow and play alongside the game as well. It's just been fantastic. And uh, yeah, I love it and cherish every moment of it, uh, even through my ups and downs. You know, this year has been one bumpy year for me and i'm sure some of you guys have had a bumpy year as well right um but uh, we're gonna keep looking up we're gonna keep uh striving to be better than we were yesterday and uh do the best that we can so yeah with that aside shout out to all the supporters all the new people that are members of the channel aiden in supporting the channel a little bit extra by clicking that join button you know um, i always love adding you guys on roblox iron tier members um you know the diamond tier live streams they've been bumpy but we're gonna get them back and things are gonna be great going forward so yeah with that aside love you guys so much we'll see you all in the next one dude 360 oh my god dude did you see that high skills nobody can get on my level don't even try dude i know you want to try but don't try